Hi, my name is Philippe Duchamp, senior producer on Dead Space. Today, I'm here to give you a first look at one of my favorite sections in the game. So we find ourselves here in the Ishimura's hangar at the beginning of chapter three. We're going to make our way towards the control room in engineering, where we'll attempt to restart the ship's engine. For those of you who remember the original, the hangar was much smaller than it is now. We get to explore this location and literally fly through it before heading to our destination. Navigating between chapters without load screens or having the camera cut away is part of how we've reimagined the Ishimura for the remake. We don't need to rely on the tram as the sole way to get between chapters. It is now a seamless, interconnected ship. Entering vacuum. We've got two lurkers here. You can quickly get rid of them with a pulse rifle or Isaac's trusty plasma cutter. There aren't many traditional firearms on board. To survive, you may have to improvise and choose how to take each necromorph down. We're now entering the ship. We have a lot to show you, so let's skip ahead to chapter three. We've just received a briefing to head over to the refueling station. To get there, we're passing through the machine shop over here. If you needed to backtrack or simply wanted to explore the ship further, you may encounter a completely different experience. Different enemies, the ambience and lighting may change. This is what we call the intensity director. It keeps the Ishimura unpredictable and brings some additional tension and challenge. The way to the refueling station is just a little further ahead. As you can see, some memorable moments are authentic to the original. We've added tons of graphical enhancement that support strategic dismemberment. Using Kinesis, we'll bring that gondola over and make our way to the south refueling station. We need to gain access to the fuel management office, which contains the power functions for the refueling station. We can follow that cable to find our way there. One of the things we tried to achieve was to add more context to the various objectives, to expand on what was there and bring a bit more detail and depth where we could. The refueling station has no power. We can look for a way to access the fuel management office. This card should allow us in, and we can now make our way back. Isaac, Hammond. Daniels, you made it. Thank God, after the bridge we thought the- Glad to disappoint. I barricaded myself in the computer core. I can hear them, but I don't think they know I'm here. Isaac, I tracked down your rig. You're an engineer, right? I'll get myself admin privileges. Maybe I can help. Now that we have access to this room, we're faced with a very tough choice. We could cut power to life support and rely on air canisters for oxygen, but today we'll play a section without lights instead.
With the power restored, the South refueling station can now be activated. In the decontamination room, using new tech, we've cranked up the tension. Dynamic smoke creates that thick and opaque atmosphere that makes you lose track of the lurkers, even when they're right next to you. It adds to the claustrophobia, the feeling of being locked in with a pack of necromorphs. Our last stop is the centrifuge. It's offline, and the Ishimura is getting dragged down to the planet below. Please attach generator modules. Manually. We've added so much detail in here. Particle effects, lighting, floating debris. We wanted this room to be imposing and tell a story at the same time. It's a lot more impressive, and its size makes it harder to keep track of the incoming necromorphs. So audio plays a huge role here in identifying the direction of threats. With one of the generator modules back in place, we can head to the second one. Flying in zero-g and not being anchored to the surface makes spatial awareness extremely important. Combat encounters can quickly become deadly, especially with leapers. And now, with the generator modules powered up, the centrifuge is ready to be activated. Generator module attached. Clutch engaged. All personnel, clear for centrifuge restart. I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek at the new Dead Space. Thank you for tuning in. I saw everything. The connection between two worlds. About a century ago, humans were defeated by the Vulgus. Invaders from the other world. Then came the Colossi, who destroyed everything. Humans resisted until they could no longer. Then they found hope. Descendant. 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 But another threat had emerged. Karel, the new leader of the Vulgus. His dark ambitions are driving both worlds to the brink of collapse. We must fight back. With the ancestors' power bestowed upon us. Descendant, can you hear me? I've been waiting for you.
Lawrence alone. Fair 2 and play the campaign up to a week early. Sidekick. <laughs> Inadequate. Because I see more. Master Bruce saw more. He saw greatness. He saw potential. He saw the future of Gotham. Remember, everything he was is within you and everything he could never be is why you'll be so much more it's your time now bruce was gotham he was a friend A mentor, a protector. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. With the ongoing spree of homicides and kidnappings across the city, police are now urging citizens to remain indoors. Let's knock some heads. needed something to believe in let's finish what bruce started
See you in a few weeks, Spider-Man. New York's only Spider-Man. Hey, uh, you think you're gonna add that new Spider-Man too? Whoa. A lot of responsibility for a kid your age. I can handle it. Do you remember what we lost when Rockstone pulled us this block? Weapons up! What's going on? Underground's attacking Rockstone. They're after New Form. I have to stop this. What do you owe the city, huh? You didn't ask to be Spider-Man. Miles, our family doesn't give up. You know that. Tinkerer, stop! We can't let you take that. My neighborhood. We better stop this. Miles. Gotta be me. Aphis was once a great city, but now it lies in ruins. Dangerous beasts roam the streets, and most people have lost their minds in hunger for stardust. But I am a Northwind Legion warrior. I am not afraid.
I will not yield! It can be difficult to know where to begin. You may not realize it, but you are sacred. Kim, doesn't this all feel a little bit culty? We have to trust the spiritual journey. Hi, I'm Mike so Scupa, creative director of The Chant, a horror action adventure game set on a remote spiritual retreat in the Pacific Northwest. You play as Jess, who's come to Glory Island seeking healing from a past traumatic event. Her peaceful weekend soon turns to cosmic dread after a group chant opens a parasitic dimension known as the Gloom, which is engulfing the island and threatening to take control of everyone and everything on it. Come, come to us. The island itself is interconnected, creating a compact exploratory world, with the retreat acting as the central hub. What was that? Proceeding into the many surrounding locations uncovers resources and collectibles, while bringing to light the dark past of the island's former inhabitants. And as a father, I must discipline my children when they misbehave. Along your journey, there are items to craft and puzzles to solve in order to proceed deeper into the heart of the island. That worked. Oh my god, my mind. Mind, body, and spirit are essential to Jess's well-being, and every action you take influences the balance between them. Hey, we were just discussing tonight's session. Are you ready for a change? Dialogue choices, meditation, and resources found throughout the island affect that balance and ultimately determine how your story concludes. As the gloom spreads throughout the island, you need to traverse each of the supernatural areas as it attempts to amplify and feed on Jess's negative energy. Jess, okay. I never do anything to upset you. While Jess may not be a trained fighter, she is able to craft various spiritual weaponry and tools to fight against the prismatic creatures and cultists released from the gloom. Exploiting enemies' weaknesses with the right weapons or using traps and utility items are key to survival. But as resources and weapons are limited, knowing when to flee to fight another day is crucial. Through the discoveries and teachings of prismic science, Jess learns to harness the power of the gloom herself. Numerous spiritual abilities can increase your odds of survival against this unstoppable force. Welcome to your spiritual nightmare. job to do, soldier. Go.
So he'll give you lots of practice. Please, wait! If we can get to the Alphaverse and stop Singularity, we might be able to help him. You have to be the one to find all the Chaos Gears. Look, I know how you feel. So? Trust me. He means a lot to me, too. I literally have bigger fish to fry. Away that easy. So close. The anticipation is killing me. You cannot challenge my energy. This world is anyone again, not even myself. Asking me to get along? Then we'd better be off. I think you have me mistaken for someone else. Oh that, a simple bonsoir. Just wait until I get really chatty. Singularity. We'll knock down his door, wring his neck, and end all of this destruction. If this device is damaged, we'll never be able to open the portal again. Where are you, you mangy psycho? You'd better be okay, Luca.
Sonic Frontiers introduces a new take on the action, adventure, and platforming genres by combining blistering speed with blazing combat. For the first time, Sonic has a skill tree full of exciting and powerful new abilities to learn. To unlock new skills, you'll need to collect enough skill pieces from fallen enemies and breakable items around the islands. Sonic also has his standard moveset, including a homing attack, drop dash, and stomp at the beginning of the game. While these moves are effective against normal enemies, you'll need to level up and unlock new skills if you want to take on bigger and stronger foes awaiting you on the Starfall Islands. A normal enemy on Kronos Island is nothing compared to those on later islands, so make sure you're collecting the Red Seeds of Power and Blue Seeds of Defense to boost your stats and give yourself a fighting chance. As the game progresses and Sonic levels up, so do your enemies. Completing combos is a good way to get the upper hand during battle, especially when paired with a new skill called Phantom Rush. Sonic's combo meter will fill up after attacking enemies consecutively. Once the combo meter is maxed out, Phantom Rush is activated, and your attack power will be boosted until the meter reaches zero. To deal massive amounts of damage in a short burst, use Sonic Boom, a long-range, high-speed kick that unleashes shockwaves at the enemy. Another option to dish out major hurt on your enemies is Wild Rush, a flashy, zigzagging attack that sends you crashing into your targets with great force. It's a fast and stylish way to hit your enemies hard while avoiding incoming fire. Certain enemies in Sonic Frontiers have a shield or barrier protecting them. Break their shield with Psyloop and then deal as much damage as you can before it goes back up. If your opponent happens to land a hit on you, just use the Psyloop ability on the ground to collect more rings and get back in the fight. During combat, you'll need to study your opponents and determine the best strategy to take them on. Encounters with Guardians will require more than just using your homing attack. Many of them prompt you to engage with their unique combat mechanics first before reaching their weak spot. Once you have an opening, you can dish out all the skills you've unlocked from the skill tree. Experimenting with new abilities and discovering each enemy's weakness will help you defeat them with ease. Use your enemy's moves against them by utilizing parry during combat. A visual cue lets you know when an enemy is about to attack. If you react quickly enough, you can parry it and follow it up with a counterattack of your own. Using all these skills and more gives you tons of options to become the most formidable force in the frontier. Master your approach to battle and teach your enemies not to mess with Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, look at you, tourist. The living getting more desperate. Guess you ain't the only one who thrives on creating havoc. Gonna take nothing short of a miracle to survive what's coming. <sighs> <gasps> Wherever the tourist goes, death ain't far behind. Hi, Mr. Yoshida. Oh, hi, Kiriko. <laughs> donuts for dinner again? <laughs> These aren't just any donuts. They're Fox Festival donuts with spirit sprinkles. <laughs> Wanna try one? No, thank you. But I hope you and your mother enjoy them. She's here? Ugh. Let me guess. She brought her vacuum. Yep. <laughs> you know, someone came to work with me today, and she's very excited to see you. <laughs> Hey 
you there, little rabbit. You're getting so good at that. Oh, but of course. Oh, I've got something for you. How do I look? <laughs> well, I should get going. See you later, little fox. Mr. Yoshida, pray for me. <laughs> Mom! You're here! Uh, Kiriko, it's not safe here anymore. Just last week, someone in this building was robbed at gunpoint. You should never have moved out! I brought you groceries. Mom, you're overreacting. I'm not overreacting. Please, tell me this is not your dinner. Uh... Kiriko, Mom, look at me. I am totally protected by the fox spirit, just like Grandma was. Your grandmother is gone, and I will not lose you too. But Mom, the fox spirit can block bullets and balance your blood sugar. She's an all-purpose kind of spirit. All-purpose. Like flour. Which makes... Donuts! You know I have a sword, right? I'm fine. I'm so safe. You know... <laughs> I stay up all night worrying about you. You've stopped training with me. Kanezaka's falling apart. And I... I don't know how to protect you. Faith alone isn't enough, Kiriko. Mom, you may not believe in the fox spirit, or what Grandma taught me, but believe in me. I'm stronger than you think. Are you? <laughs> Ridiculous you sound. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I'm protected by an imaginary animal spirit. Your son owes us a lot of money. I, I already told you. I don't know where he is. You think this is a game? You think the fox spirit is gonna protect you? Fuya Hashimoto son! I just want what's best for you, Kiriko. Kiriko? I'm gonna kick every one of you in the face. What? No one threatens the Hashimoto! Wait, wait, I, I don't want to get kicked in the face. I'm gonna call for backup. You, Hashimoto, have preyed on this city. 
this neighborhood. These people. For too long. I have a message for you to take back to your boss. Hanezaka is under my protection. on this one. She's growing up so quickly. Thank you, Kiriko. Stop training with you, after all. <laughs> maybe... Maybe I judged your donuts a little too harshly. <laughs> maybe moving home for a little while isn't such a bad idea. <laughs> that would make me so happy. Mom, <laughs> please don't cry. Cry, I'm gonna cry. You are grandma. We'd be so proud of you. <laughs> 